Samples from an asteroid which landed in South Australia has shown parts of the solar system. Tell us, what did it show us? Yeah, so Hayabusa 2, when it landed in uh, you know, Woomera in December 2020, we were all excited to see what secrets would have been had. And this was because it landed on the asteroid Rigu. And Rigu, as you're seeing here on this screen, you know, it's a very kind of lumpy, rocky bit. And we always believed this was kind of the, the leftover bits of the solar system. You know, imagine you're making a cake. These are the ingredients that spill on the counter. And so by studying them, we can see exactly what was present. So it's really told us the exact ratios of the ingredients in our solar system when the sun actually formed. And in fact, the dating of this told uh, was able to pinpoint it to within about a three million year range. Now, given this happened 4.6 billion years ago, a three million accuracy is pretty spot on for figuring <laughs> out when all this stuff was formed. There you go. A micrometeoroid hit the James Webb telescope. How much damage did it cause? Yeah, look, this was a bit unsettling for this telescope that is just getting ready. You know, they're starting, they're getting ready to release their first images in almost a spot on a month from now. Now, they did think that this would happen. We do, there's micrometeorites, you know, there's these tiny specks of dust traveling through space. It was a bit bigger than modeled. And so it kind of, as you see, knocked out one of these mirrors. The James Webb has these honeycomb pattern. And so it's slightly knocked out the alignment of one of these segments. Now, luckily, it didn't do any surface damage or any major impact. Um, again, the telescope was built to somewhat plan for this. So they did have to do a little bit of extra work getting that segment back into line. So it doesn't appear to have set it back anytime soon. But not what you want when you're in the middle of getting this thing ready. Having this unexpected occurrence definitely um, unsettled some nerves, but it does appear to be OK. Absolutely. Bump in the road, bump out in space. Look, finally, Brad Tucker, three Chinese astronauts have arrived at the Tiangon Space Station to oversee the finishing of the building. How's it looking? Yeah, so they just arrived a few days ago, and so they have a busy six months. Um, so, in fact, what we're expecting is come um, October or so, um, and maybe in August, it's a bit hard to say sometimes with the Chinese timelines because they're not very clear with it, the next two main modules, and they need to be three sections to complete the space station. They've already been working in the first one. So they have a busy six months essentially to set up the next two and then actually have a fully operational space station. China has set the deadline essentially for the end of the year. So given they have to launch two more modules, they have to install it, get them up and running, plus a bunch of other minor work. They have a really busy six months. So this is probably the quietest period they're going to have until the end of the year. Okay, Brad Tucker, we have to leave it there. Thanks so much for your time this afternoon. Great to speak with you.